Assalamualaikum guys Ok Hari ni Mamu nak cerita Pasal The Strollers lah Itu Mamu duk kata kan The Strollers ni macam mana The Strollers ni Depa ni Orang kata apa First Depa punya album 1969 Tak salah Mamu ha, Lebih kurang macam tu lah Mamu duk baca Mamu baca apa Mamu baca buku dia lah kan Duk baca-baca apa sikit So depa ni Depa ni gabungan Melayu, Cina, India ha. So depa punya suara ni Kalau orang pendengar betul-betul Depa punya suara ni macam Orang kata macam orang putih lah Kalau hampa beranak tu 1960-an Ataupun parent apa beranak tu 1960-an Mereka nanti kenal lah The Strollers ni ha. Mamu pun mamu tak apa kenal Mereka tapi sebab mamu baca buku Mamu kaji pasal mereka ha, Mamu tahu lah Mereka ni Malaysian pop lah ha, Lama dulu-dulu Mereka famous lah ha, Sebab suara mereka pun Mereka menyanyi memang suara putih Nanti mamu bagi link lagi kat bawah Mereka boleh dengar sendiri Yang pejah sendiri suara mereka Macam nak sedap tak sedap Mereka menyanyi So sekarang ni Mamu nak pergi jumpa ni lah Orang yang tulis buku ni Writer buku ni ha, The Strollers ni So kita nak tengok Mamu interview ni eh? Jom kita pergi Zas Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum geng ha, Hari ni Mamu main dekat Porter's Place lah Lepas tu hari ni Mamu ada interview ha, Interview dengan siapa? Interview dengan Writer of The Strollers ha, So hari ni Mamu nak interview Mamu nak tanya lah Beberapa perkara Tentang buku dan semua kan Tapi hari ni episode special kan Mamu nak tanya dah Mamu kena cakap bahasa Inggeris hari ni Ah, uh, So nak tengok macam mana bahasa Inggeris tu Jom kita layan Bapa pun stay di orang kita okay, Now we are having Mr. Arif The writer of the book Om Arif So May I ask you a first question Okay As we know Mr. Arif Promotion is very important So how did you go about promoting the book? Uh, okay um, As regard to promotion Even before the book was published, uh, I knew in order to promote the book, we had to get an, an endorsement from somebody of uh, uh, public stature. So after asking around, I managed to get an appointment with uh, the then Deputy Minister of uh, Tourism, Arts and Culture, uh, YB uh, Tuan Bak- uh, Bakta Wan Chi, yeah? Uh, who is known to my elder brother. True. So when we got to meet him during the break in the parliamentary sitting session, uh, I presented a short video that I had made about the strollers. And that's how uh, YB was gracious enough to write an endorsement at the back of the book. Okay, when the book came out, uh, I already had set up a Facebook group called uh, The Strollers Legacy since 2010. And through the Strollers Legacy Facebook, uh, the promotion, uh, the information came out to the followers and orders started coming in. And uh, for our Facebook followers played also a part, about 30 of them were spotting enough. When they got the book, they took uh, a photo, a selfie of them with the book. So that helped further I promote uh, the availability of the book. Okay, when the book came out, how was the response? Okay, uh, when the book came out, I was uh, taken aback uh, pleasantly by the amount of interest that came about the book. People from uh, Sabah, Sarawak, and very much people who grew up as teenagers during the 70s listening to the book of the strollers. Another interesting part was uh, I was uh, approached by a retired American soldier who was posted uh, at the U.S. Embassy in Kuala Lumpur in the early 70s. He uh, recalled his time uh, when he was off duty jamming with the strollers. So he got a book, a copy of the book and he was uh, very, very happy that you know he managed to read about the strollers. We also got in touch with uh, family members, uh, some of the band members that we couldn't uh, initially uh, trace. Uh, for instance, the uh, son of the late Nan Kuma uh, approached me through Facebook and I found out that he is now based in the US. And then uh, the daughter uh, of, Mel, uh, of uh, Terry Tedious also contacted me. Do you have any plans for the follow-up of the book? Okay, um, a second of the, the edition of the book would be nice. But uh, my hope is for the long term to preserve the legacy and the music of the strollers. And what a better way to do it 
if we are able to manage to uh, uh, to assemble a group of young musicians who would be like a tribute band to the strollers uh, that will uh, put the strollers on par with great bands like the Beatles how I wish it will happen but you never know which might you know come become a reality uh, thank you very much for having me on your channel and I wish uh, all the best to Orang Kita Thank you very much uh, Mr. Arif So, apa dah dengar lah kan Mau dah cerita dah kan Pasal The Strollers ni, buku dah semua Macam mana, apa promo apa semua So, kalau apa rasa apa ni nak Berjuang kan, musician negara kita Apa belilah buku dia Ataupun apa support lah dengar lagu ke apa kan So, kita jumpa lagi lah pada episode akan datang Apa-apa pun, stay di orang kita Hai Ampa dah habis dah tengok video. Ah, seri lah ampa tengok video lah kan. Lalu tu mamu pun. Ni buku pertama writer kita buat sebelum dia buat buku The Strollers ni buku pertama dia. Saja lah mau baca kan pasal pekerjaan apa ke. So, ampa dah tahu dah semua pasal The Strollers. Kalau ampa nak tahu lebih lanjut, ampa boleh pergi beli lah buku The Strollers tu. Lepas tu saya memang hantar link lah. Ha, link memang ditulis. Nanti bagi kat apa, ampa tekan tu boleh tengok suara The Strollers macam mana. Writer kita punya YouTube channel memang nanti letak apa semua. So, kita jumpa lagi lah di episode akan datang. Apa-apa pun, stay di orang kita.